Hey, what's going on YouTube? Before we jump to the video, I just wanted to say uh, RP to those kids in Texas, man. Um, as a father, and even if I wasn't a father, um, seeing that is devastating. So before I even start off this video, I just wanted to say RIP to everybody involved. Um, I got the the parents, the families, and my and my thoughts, man, for real. Uh, so prayers to Texas. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Gabriel. This is another fan TV. Back at you another video. Hey, look, man, we're gonna talk about Ravens OTA day two. Yesterday was wrapped up. I kind of wanted to give a whole day just to. Um, you know, go over it and see what's happening. Uh, day three is today, but we're going to talk about yesterday. All right, so the information I'm getting is from Jeff Cerebeck, Kyle P. Barber, Jonah Schaefer. These are some of the main guys to follow, honestly. They always had the OTA practices or training camp practices in general. And they have a, look, a lot of information about what's going on with the Ravens. So they're, they're good guys to follow on Twitter. All right, so let's talk about practice yesterday. Um, first round pick, Kyle Hamilton stood out. Uh, so that's good to hear. Long, rangy, athletic. Uh, he was dominating apparently in one-on-one -on -one pass drills against the tight ends. He got a pass breakup on Kolar and Isaiah Likely. I don't know if he ever went up against Andrews and how he fared in that matchup, but it's good to hear that he's looking like the talent that we know he is. So that's what's up. Um, Patrick Queen had a, apparently had a diving interception um, off of a drop pass from, I believe, Tyler Wallace. So if Patrick Queen get his hands on the ball this year, that, that'd be great if the defense as a whole can get their hands on the ball. The Ravens need turnovers. They need plays to give the offense the ball back in good positions, right? But it's only OTAs in May, so we're not going to overreact saying Patrick Queen's a ball hog now, right? But that was, that was, that was a good to hear. Um, Jalen Armour Davis said they said he was good in coverage. Uh, Slade Bolden was sharp out there, right? Uh, he's a true slot receiver, in and out cuts, good. Um, oh, and from the Ravens wire that dropped from the rookie mini camp, Shamar Bridges, somebody who I had mentioned before in previous videos, they said that he's picked T. Martin um, specifically uh, mentioned Shamar Bridges, said that he's picking up the offense quickly, and he once again mentioned Slade Bolton. So go check out that Ravens wire um, inside the Ravens mini camp and um, things like that. You'll you'll learn a lot about what they think about the players. Uh, the bad uh, from yesterday. Drops everywhere. So, Proche, Bateman, Tylen Wallace, uh, Duvernay all had drops. Um, I think that the rookie tight ends might have had drops as well. Um, so, that's an issue. That's an issue. Because that's the that's the part of the offense that we're talking about is the one part that could hold the team back. Is wide receiver receiving options in general. Now, it's a practice in May. I'm not going to overreact. I said the same thing in rookie mini Canada. I'm not going to overreact. But you don't want to see these issues continue and build upon each other. You want to see that this is, it happens now, and it's resolved quickly, and that's it. So that's what I'm hoping for, that we get a quick turnaround on that. That That's that. We move on to the next thing. We're not even, we're not worried about the drops anymore. But as of right now, it is an issue. Uh, also, the Ravens have signed Brad Huntley. Um, quarterback, you know, former Green Bay Packer, Arizona Cardinal, I think. So he's been, he's been a couple places. Um, not a big deal. Camp body, camp arm. The Ravens only have two quarterbacks. They got Tyler Huntley and they got um, the Brown, Anthony Brown from Oregon, with Lamar not at OTAs as, as it currently stands. So, and if Lamar, just to put a, a great point, if Lamar doesn't play in the preseason, which I hope he doesn't, that you need three quarterbacks. So that's good. You know, it's not a big deal. So camp arm, great. So some notes from the presser that followed. Um, people that talked, Marlon Humphrey, Adolph Yowe, um, John Harbaugh, Mark Andrews. That's people that talked. So Andrew says he likes both of the young tight ends. He said that they're light years ahead of where he was coming in as a rookie. Um, so we know Kolar and likely are, are athletic um, tight ends, comparative tight ends, can go up and get the ball. Only that needs to be sorted out is if they have any continued issues with drops. That's the only that needs to be sorted out. But besides that, I we, we love to hear it. So it's good to hear that. Um, Adafi Owe is confident and feeling strong going into year two. Now, he had that shoulder surgery at the end of the year. And he said that he slowed down at the end of the year because his shoulder was bothering him. And that was kind of obvious to see that something was off. Because, like I said um, in previous videos about Adafi Owe, he started off really well. 
and then you know hit the quote unquote Ricky Wall, but it might have just been it really just been an injury that was holding him back. So he's, he he feels good right now. Um, and he talked about him and the bond that um, him and David Ojabo have. So it was good to have a a friend that's actually they've been through stuff together and talked through situations together. So that's a good bond to have on the team. Um, and then you know, obviously a constant question was Lamar Jackson. Mark Andrews, Marlon Humphrey said they both been in contact with Lamar Jackson. They both know he's working hard, and they both know that he wants to be here. Now, with that being said, why is he not there? We don't know. And I'm not going to speculate into why he's not there. Okay? Um, Marlon Humphrey's also said, Marlon Humphrey, I keep saying Humphrey. Marlon Humphrey also said that Marcus Williams and Kyle Fuller will probably join OTAs um, during the next round, which is, I think, June 1st to June the 3rd. Uh, one more note about Lamar. Uh, Harbaugh said that he won't speak for Lamar while he's not here. That Lamar can speak for that to him, speak to that for himself. Which I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. Which is the truth. Why would John Harbaugh speculate and speak for Lamar when Lamar can do it himself? From what we heard, Lamar gave one singular statement. It was on Twitter. He said, "I can't wait to get back." These are voluntary OTAs. The first round of voluntary OTAs. I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. Um, Harbaugh also said that Fuller completes the secondary. Not that the Ravens won't make any more moves in the secondary, but he feels like this is the the final piece to really complete the secondary. And I agree. Um, Fuller's not going to be asked to do a lot of what he had to do in Denver and be that that top reliable guy. Um, here, he is the, the third cornerback. And that's a good role for a guy uh, to come off the last season he had. So um, the Ravens are in good shape. Um, those are some interesting notes from practice uh, and a presser. Um, just to wrap it up, obviously, I think at this point in the year, the offense always struggles a little bit because you've got to get in rhythm with your guys, and the defense tends to play a little bit better. You'll see that early, in tra- you see that all the way up to early in training camp too. Um, but what you don't want to hear about is drops. So the Ravens uh, receivers, tight ends, running backs. Because they even said Tyler Bailey had a drop too, but he came back with an impressive one-hand catch later in practice. Um, if everybody can clean up the drops, then you know we can roll. Rashad Bateman, you wide receiver number one. You know we got all the confidence in the world in you. So, from my knowledge, when I watched Rashad Bateman, when I watched the breakdowns on him, drops weren't a issue with him. So I'm not going to be overly critical, overly worried, or overly worried about that. Um, so that was the main thing I got from it. Uh, everybody seems to be confident in the team. Everybody seems to be confident in Lamar Jackson being there. So Ravens fans, calm down with that. And uh, yeah, man, so that's that's kind of the wrap-up that I got from day two. Uh, they're on the day three today, and we'll see what goes from there. Uh, I might not do a breakdown every day because I don't want to get repetitive and do the same videos every day. But if something drops out, uh, jumps out and I feel like I make a video on it, I definitely will, man. So it's your boy Gabriel. This is the Fan TV. I'm out.